Kayla, please like and subscribe. That's announced. Yay, it's holativity time. Yes. 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 <laughs> Wait, I'm actually, I have somebody to highlight first and okay. I cannot believe he's gone because he also won from the giveaway. I Are did, you serious? Double yeah. dipping? Well, he, he is double, double dipping, but I mean, he doesn't get anything for holotivity being highlighted, no. but yeah. the Ready? person I'm highlighting today is James, J-Pop 2010. He sent me a little... I guess this is a meme <laughs> the other day that I just, I love it. Um, it says, sure, change is scary, but it's got nothing on being stuck in the same place your whole life. I don't, sure. there's, I don't know if you guys know too much about James. He is also part of the High Sea Pirates, like mm -hmm. us, last, yes. from last week. Um, but he's part of everything. It's not, he helps Rudy with the Zach discord and is doing amazing over there. He's just an all around great person. If you don't know James, I highly suggest you do and just have a conversation with him. He is so fun, so sweet. I mean, and you know, it doesn't matter what he's going through in life. Mm -hmm. He is going to help you um, any way that he can. I just, I have a lot of appreciation for him. So I thought it was just necessary to highlight him today. That meme was just a good one, a good reminder that, you know, not to be stuck in the same place. If that is the worst thing you can do, evolve. Yeah, just, I run into people all the time that are, get af they're afraid of change. And I always ask them, why? Like, why are you afraid? Like, there's been three times in my life where I've completely started over from what I was doing. And each time was better than the time before. And so for me, I'm, I actually, I would say, bring it on, bring on change. But I also would say, according to this meme here, that I get the cliff in the water. But if I was making that kind of change, I promise you, I couldn't do that somersault like that. No, more God. like a belly flop. The belly would be, be ca cannonball. Probably <laughs> try from that height, cannonball land on my head, done. So you know, it's kind of funny because I have such a hard time with change really but i welcome it at the same time like i don't necessarily like necessarily like it but i welcome it if it has to happen um but yeah no no you can ask my coworkers, my boss i just am very like when something changes it just makes it gives me anxiety a little bit even the smallest change like I mean, Holly, your new office is over here. I'm like, but I'm so comfortable. Just routine. My old one. I know where everything is. Like, there's just so, something about it that gives me a little bit of anxiety. But then I'm like, okay, this is going to be okay. And then it I happens. I see that. And it ends up being okay. So, yeah, there is a little, like, mm, I don't I don't like it all the time. But. It's got to happen. <laughs> but if you're willing to at least go with it and see where it takes you, then I just feel like there's a lot of times when we get scared of things we are we don't know about, then we are losing out on a chance to find out something that could be awesome. And so just so we can stay in our little comfort zone. So, yeah, I, kind yeah, of I don't know. I'm a little like bit, change. I'm a little less fearless the older I get. So I it's like all good. Change. See, and I'm the opposite. The older I'm getting, the more like reserve and cautious I am about things than I was when I was younger. I didn't give two shits about change. Like bring it on. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Yep, I could just, what, I don't know, whatever you, for whatever reason, when you said that, I just picture you as a Lieutenant Dan on top of the shrimp boat and Forrest Gump. Yeah, screaming at the I storm. So. Oh yeah, that, that was me. I was fearless back in the day. Now, I mean, you know, I used to go, we used to ride motorcycles all the time and I loved it. It was one of my favorite things. There is something about being on the back of a motorcycle. You see the world differently and that I will never, ever like say anything different. I feel like you just see more than if you're in a car. You, yeah. It's just there's yeah. something different about it. Now, I am scared to death. Be and all I can think of is I'm a goner. If we crash, 
I'm a goner. Like I still enjoy it to a level, but then it, mm -hmm. here comes the anxiety and the worst thoughts coming through my head. And are you so just not like? Are you I more don't... worried about the other people, the other drivers? A hundred percent, because I, and and the fact that I'm not the driver, yeah, I'm yeah. not in control, and so I don't like it. I don't. Mm -hmm. I and that this has evolved getting older, and it just has gotten worse and worse over the years. Is this why you couldn't jump off the stratosphere? Yes, I'm not oh, even kidding. I oh. I go through like all the different scenarios of what could go wrong uh -huh. and do I really want to risk my life on something like that? So no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you hundred percent. Cause when it comes to car. like jumping out of airplanes on a parachute, I'm like, unless that plane's going down, I'll, I'll I'd rather be inside the, that instead of worrying about who packed my chute and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't, yeah. So is there going to be a twerking competition? Huh? Yeah, we're not twerking. <laughs> truth or dare segment? Truth or dare? You know what? Truth be told, back in the day, I would have did it. I would have said F it, but I was also younger. Greg will do it. I don't know. Like, I I had <laughs> I'll no do it. I would have I would have had a twerking competition right now. Now that I'm 41, <laughs> like I'm old, but it's not happening. Greg's still young and dumb. We can get him to do it during Cryptic Corner. Yeah, I'm I'm stay, tuned for, stay tuned for the highest rated Cryptic Corner of all time. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> all right, Holly, you got some announce or some uh, winners to announce? I do. So from Friday, and that was another thing. I'm telling you, the long weekend really messed me up. I swore all day Friday was Saturday. It was in my head that it was Saturday. Therefore, it you know I was going to pick on Sunday. Yeah, that was bad. So <laughs> from our space on Friday from Family Feud, I do have to say that Team Zach did beat Team Interlink. And they beat them really bad. Yeah, like, that's what I heard. It was really bad. I felt kind of sad for them. Like, I even tried, like, to give them. Are they still friends? They're still friends, <laughs> yeah. yes. Which is kind of uh, awesome, like, uh, while we're here and talking about it. Zach is an official alliance member with Interlink, so that's really cool. Did that get announced on Friday? It did. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I didn't I didn't hear about it. I kind of jokingly said, I guess that's what happens when you play Family Feud, but I didn't know if that was the announcement was yeah. Friday or not. That's cool. Yeah, there, yeah it was a pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I think it, it was Rudy um, that filled out all the paperwork and they did the vetting and stuff. And so now they're official Alliance members. Cool. You can't get like, if you stake your inner link right now, you can choose from projects. Unfortunately, because it's Solana, you can't oh. get Zach as a reflectionary token, which kind of sucks, but hopefully, you know, I, I can't even imagine the development work that would have to go into that. Yeah. So you know that's coming might, though. You know, it's coming. I, I'm, I'm Somebody's sure going to figure it out. Yeah, somebody will figure it out. So that's pretty awesome. Um, however, let's get to the winners. So the first one we have is James, which is JPOP20 on Twitter. The other one is new. I don't know much about him. His name is Matt Chu. Not Matthew. It's Matt <laughs> Chu. <laughs> Matt Chu. Okay. And then another new one that I don't know much about. However, he started following me that same day is Edbone20. And then the last one is another new one, which is so exciting to me, you guys, that mm -hmm. these are all like relatively new people. Dad bod Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes. wow. So, so I will be email or DMing um, the winners to get your Solana wallet address and I'll be sending Zach your way. Yeah, so we follow a couple of those people, um, but yeah, most yeah. of them are fairly new to yeah, there what I've known. I, I'm so excited about the new ones, just because it's like, oh, new friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. yeah. Yeah, you think about how this journey started for anyone that's ever been on X, right? Everyone started with like one person that they, and then yeah. it became two, and then to whatever it's developed into now for you, which never been a big numbers guy but it's really cool whenever you get new people you never know when that one new person is going to be somebody like holly for us that we hang out with every week now you know yeah, yeah. so it's pretty cool that technology is 
pretty awesome. Um, some of the time, most of the time, yeah. I guess. <laughs> you know, but. I was, it's kind of funny that you're talking about that because I was thinking about this two days ago. Um, and it was, I had one of my friends ask about, you know, Holly, why, why do you spend so much time on Twitter? Like what, what is it? And, you know, a lot of people from Twitter would say that it's like for engagement. Um, it's clout, it's whatever. But my honest, honest reason is because I would never get to meet all of these people in my regular life. True. And mm -hmm. the fact that I've gotten to meet so many people and I have so many friends like Bamboo, for instance, he's one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. I, he, I, we laugh together all the time. He's funny. He lives in New York. Would I ever be able to meet Bamboo in real life? Probably no. not. Like, well, I mean, I have met him in real life, but ha would I even like cross paths with him? No. Rudy, mm -hmm. Mima, like there's just you guys. Mm -hmm. If it oh, wasn't yeah. for Twitter, I wouldn't know anybody. And so I love people. I love to do my own like research about people and how they think because everybody's so different. And mm -hmm. it's so cool to like learn about their cultures or, you know, worldwide. How mm -hmm. cool is it? I would never know half the things I know if it wasn't for Twitter. That yeah. is why I'm here to learn about everybody, mm -hmm. anybody and everybody I can. It has, I'm 41 years old. I don't want, wow. I, I don't want clout guys. That's crazy to me. <laughs> oh, who wants, like, I'm old. All right. Clout, those no, clout days no. are over. It's about the people I've never, I would have never crossed path, paths with that I mm -hmm. get to every single day now. So. Yeah, especially being in small town Missouri like the three of us are, our bubble is pretty small, right? There's only a certain amount of people we could even possibly run into. Yeah. And to be able to make legit friends over some crazy social media platform to me is weird, but mm -hmm. amazing at the same time. Yeah. Well, I mean like Facebook, for instance. Facebook mm -hmm. are all like my old friends from the past. I don't, <laughs> I don't get out and like branch out to see you know new people on yeah. facebook like twitter just happened to be the place where it's like all right i can meet all kinds of new people going this way and man it's been a journey and it's been an amazing journey even the people i've met that i no longer talk to or you know i'm grateful i got to meet them yeah. you, you taught me something you really taught me something yeah. Caleb, please like and subscribe.